two times these guys have seen him really sharp and aggressive. And, you know, it's, um, I think I saw up there, it's his 100th start. And it seems like he's starting to trust his stuff. I mean, we talk about it all the time, but just pitching with aggressiveness and um, trust in the fact that this stuff is better than average and to be aggressive in certain spots and and then to stretch the zone he, he did exactly what he needed to the changeup was good at times um the slider was was good to get a swing and miss but it was all about using both sides with the fastball and the movement that he has it's, it's unique and he's um in his days like this to just keep reinforcing that What's the key to making sure that fastball movement is, is consistent like it was today for him? Yeah, we, you know, we talk about movement a lot and how it does uh, change game to game. And when you've got it harnessed um, and you know where that perfect release point is and it's coming out, you know, it's going to be a day like today. And there's other days which are, you know, probably more often than not that you're just going to have to grind your way through. But when you have stuff that that is that as good as his, as, as much life as it has that cuts and sinks, he, he's really got a gift to where he can use more of the plate, um, especially with certain hitters in their lineup. And you earmark those, and those are the ones where you try and keep the count, that uh, pitch count down. Uh, to where you can go deeper in games and then you know get into the guys that can do some damage and you're just going to have to get creative on those days but day like today you had everything going and uh, the key to it is just learning yourself and it's repetitions and opportunities when you say unique you talk about the movement of the pitch. yeah yeah it's just explosive you know it's uh catchers will talk about a guy has a real heavy ball you know, it's not physically possible, but it's just the how late the movement is. It gets on you, uh, and that's part deception also. But there's some there's some metrics that would prove with the amount of sink that he has, the the kind of sink, the shape, and then also that his fact the fact that his four seamer isn't straight. It runs, so it speeds up a lefty, but also runs off the end of the barrel for a righty, and that's that's a tough day when you got that velocity to work with. What do you think of uh, Vinny's swing in the fourth? Yeah, you know, uh, him, Vinny putting up so many RBI and AAA and all through the minor leagues, it's, it's not a fluke. There's certain guys that um, thrive in those situations and they get guys on base. I'm thinking more about the single. Obviously, the home run, uh, it's always fun to watch. And I think he he's just missed a couple, too, since he's been here. But he's just showing a, a knack to find the barrel. Uh, but also, you know, we celebrated uh, uh, Andrew Benintendi yesterday about being able to use the whole field. And that's really what he did when he got a man in scoring position. I'm just going to use the middle. I'm going to try and get this run in. And that's that's how you, you make big innings happen. That's how you, you come through in those big situations, not trying to do too much, especially after you already jumped over the fence, right? It's, I imagine it'd be fun to try and do it again, but he was smart. Um, he's got a very mature approach at the plate.